Hi, this is Stephanie returning for part two of the tutorial on how to use Google Cloud Platform's TensorFlow. So in the last video, we set up our environment. We downloaded the Cloud SDK. We installed TensorFlow and ran a sample program. So in this video, we're going to train, develop and validate a trainer locally. So first you need to get the project. So you can either go to GitHub and get the project or you can download the cloud ML engine sample zip file. So you download it uh, to your desired directory. I put mine here. Alrighty, and then it is in to census. So it should just contain the data directory when you first get it. Um, and that. So first you have to get your training data. It's called adult.data and adult.test. Um, you can download the data into a local directory. So that's what that data directory is. So I have my adult.data.csv and adult.test.csv. And then you set your um, variables. And then you install the dependencies. So oops, I'm in the wrong directory. Oops. Don't look at that. <laughs> so yeah, projects. So, All right, so let's try this again. All right, so if you hit ls, there is a requirement.txt file, so you have to install this. So. IP install. Mm. So, this is going to install the dependency, so it may take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video and then come back. Alrighty, so all the dependencies were installed. So now that you have everything set up, you can run uh, your trainer locally. So you have to specify an output directory and set a model directory var variable. And then it says here that you should delete the contents of the output directory in case data remains from a previous run. So I've already done this. And then next, you have to run your trainer locally. So you can just copy this code right here. All 
Alrighty. So now your trainer is done running locally and you can launch TensorBoard. So you can inspect the summary logs of what just happened. And you do this. And you go to this localhost 6006. And now you're at TensorBoard. And if you go under the scaler, it'll show you um, metric data about your run. And you can run in distributed mode. So you just set your model directory to an, another variable output dash dis, which stands for distributed. And then you can run locally with the distributed option. All right, so now you can view your output by clicking this ls dash capital R output disk, which is the name of the directory. And you should see information about your training. And you can also inspect these logs in TensorBoard. And that's it for this video. So in the next video, I'll go over setting up your cloud storage bucket. Thanks for watching.